Today I'll talk about isochoric pauses. An isochoric pauses occurs at constant volume means delta V is equal to 0. First I'll talk about first law of thermodynamics. We know first law of thermodynamics that is del U is equal to Q minus W where Q is the heat added to or removed from the system and can be positive or negative. W is the work done by the system or on the system can be again positive or negative and del U is the change in internal energy. Now definition of isochoric process and isochoric process occur at occurs at constant volume so means del V is equal to 0. So work done W since del V is 0 so no work is done means W is equal to 0. Now heat transfer Q, heat is added or removed based on temperature change so that is Q is equal to N C V delta T and where C V is the molar heat capacity at constant volume. Change in internal energy del U according to the first law of thermodynamics del U is nothing but Q minus W. Now W is 0 so the delta U is equal to Q is equal to N C V dt. Now what is the visual example? Imagine a heating a gas rigid container where the volume can, can cannot change the temperature and pressure increase but no work is done so since the gas cannot expand so this is the example of isochoric process now i have to take one example not example here i am taking two state one p1 v1 t1 change to P2 V2 T2. Now here V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V that is constant. Now work done we can write since volume doesn't change so no work is done W is equal to 0. Now heat transfer we can uh, write in terms of T2 and T1. So heat is added or removed based on temperature change so Q is equal to NCB del T. Del T means NCB T2 minus T1. So here CV is the molar heat capacity at constant volume. Now change in internal energy, so del U according to the first law of thermodynamics as W is equal to 0, so del U is equal to NCV T2 minus T1. Example, if the gas is heated in a rigid container, so P2 is equal to P1 T2 by T1 because V1 is equal to V2. From the ideal gas law, we can write P1 V1 is equal to NR T1. So work is, no work is done because del V, del v is constant and all the heat added goes into change the internal energy. Now here I am taking one example. In isochoric process the volume remain constant so V is equal to V1 is equal to V2 that is 1 meter cube. And initial state P1 is 100 kilo Pascal, V1 is 1 meter cube, T1 is 300 K Kelvin. Final state P2 is 200 kilo Pascal, kilo Pascal, V2 is 1 meter cube, T2 is 600 Kelvin. So work done since del V is 0, so work done is 0. So volume is constant means work done is 0. Using ideal gas law to find the number of moles. So PV is equal to NRT or P1 V1 is equal to P1 V1 is equal to N R T1. So here N is equal to P1 V1 by R T1. So P1 is 100 kilo Pascal, V1 is 1 meter cube and R is 8.314 uh, meter cube kilo Pascal uh, and Kelvin mole and 300 is at temperature so if I do the calculation show that N is 40.11 mole so number of moles of gas N is equal to 40.11 mole so now here internal energy in the change of internal energy is given by del, del U is equal to NCV del T. CV is here th th 3 by 2 R for monoatomic ideal gas. Now if I do the calculation, so N is equal to 40.11, 3 by 2 into 8.314 and del T, so T2 minus T1. So this is R and this is N. So now if I do the calculation, del U is 150.09 kilojoule. So result the change in internal energy del U is 150.09 kilojoule. Since the volume remain constant, 
so v1 is equal to v2 so no work is done in the process so w is 0 so work done is 0 the first law of thermodynamics q is equal to del u plus w okay so w is 0 so q is equal to del u so 150.09 kilojoule so heat added to the system q is equal to 150.09 kilojoule now here another problem statement so a gas is inside a rigid cylinder mean the volume is constant the volume of the cylinder is v is equal to 3.5 liter the pressure decrease from p1 is 6.0 atm to p2 2.5 atm so task is calculate the work done by or on the gas during the process provide an explanation of why work may or may be not be may not be done so here in a constant volume process isochronic process work done on by the gas depend on volume change so if the volume remain constant no work is done regardless of the pressure changes the volume for work in the thermodynamics process is p is equal to so w is equal to p into del v so a del v is zero so the work done is w is zero so no work is done by or on the gas when volume is constant now here summary the gas is inside a rigid cylinder so volume is constant pressure decrease from p1 6.0 atm to p2 2.5 atm since volume doesn't change no work is done during the process so w is equal to 0 because del v is equal to 0 this example demonstrate that work is only done if the volume of the gas changes so that's it thank you